The Ghana Premier League is getting very interesting because you don't want to miss any action or flick. And these days, one of the teams that is eyeing a place in the top four finish or possibly win the Ghana Premier League is Accra Great Olympics. Well, today we are the training base of Accra Great Olympics to have a riveting conversation with their head coach, Anawaka, who has been doing so much for this club to move them from a team that used to be relegation battlers to a team that is eyeing a place in the top four finish or possibly, as I said before, win the Ghana Premier League and also speak to one of their top strikers, that Maxwell Abikwe, who earned a place in the Blaster squad at the just-ended AFCON 2021. Well, we are taking a short break and when we return, we'll delve into the conversation. My name is Joseph Adam Afiyo. Stay tuned. So you welcome back from the break. My name is Joseph Adam Afiyo and as I told you before, I'm here with Maxwell Abi. Maxwell, welcome. Yeah. Nice Thank seeing you. you. How's the season been so far since you returned from the AFCON and everything? Um, well, before I talk, I give thanks to the Almighty God. And then, um, <coughs> secondly, to the uh, entire playing, playing body of um, the Crowd Great Olympics. And last but not least, to the coach himself, Anowaka, and the management as a well. whole. Well, um, you could see. Um, when I came back from the tournament, um, though I didn't have a chance of playing, but uh, so it seems um, my my first appearance after I came back from the tournament, I, I found it difficult uh, to 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 gel or to 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 play my best. So uh, it took me, I think, uh, two matches before the third match against us. I was able to 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 go all out. Mm. So it has been a wonderful tournament too, and a, a very good experience too in the Black Stars. When you say a wonderful experience, how was your reaction when you saw your name in the squad? Well, um, you know, it's everybody's aspiration to, to, to wear the national team jersey and, and make sure he, uh, he leaves his mother uh, or his country up, uh, high or up. Mm. Well, so what I would say is that kudos to myself. I, I was happy. Um, uh, uh, all, I, all I would say camp, is that I was very happy. So, camp life, how was camp life? You are with you yourself, you are a national uh, star here in the Ghana Premier League. Then you play alongside um, the use the uh, parties and everything. Yeah, like that? I said, it was a very good experience, like I said. So training with them, tapping some knowledge from them, and I think I'm adding a lot of uh, experience to, my, to what I have already. Uh, uh, um, different uh, skill and how to think and all that. You know, when you are playing with them, you have to learn from them too as well. So that's what I was doing. So it has really had added up uh, a lot of uh, uh, skills and experience to, to what I already had. I realized that when you came back, the game against um, Heart of Hope was that part of the um, uh, things that you've learned from the uh, seniors. Because I saw that these guys you did for your colleagues to go and score the goal. Yeah. Was that something you learned from your Well, honestly, seniors? that is part of me already. But um, when it comes to confidence, I learned something like confidence more. Because playing with very uh, big players like Pate, uh, Jordan, Mate, Ayu, uh, I don't think when you come down to the league, you should be afraid of anyone. So the experience, was, experience level was very high. You wish to return to the Blasters? Oh, always. Because uh, <laughs> that's where we all want to be. Yeah. Sure. So. How was the mood when, uh, after the final match against Comoros? How was the mood in town? Well, everybody was down, honestly. But I know, uh, sp uh, like spiritually, uh, physically, though um, we were down, but there's always uh, another chance to prove. Uh, there's always a model for improvement. So, after being down, Everybody, I think, has gone to back to his club, trying to lift up his head up and then do, do his best and then he'll be called upon again and then represent. And we all know, you know, at every, uh, when, whenever you fall, it shouldn't be your, your, your end of, of, uh, of your journey. You, sh you can wake up as a man and then drive on and then the sky will be your limit. So I think sometimes in life too, when you go down, uh, 
it, it's, it's, a, it's a source of encouragement for you. Uh, yeah. So when you come back, you know what you did wrong, what made you went down and all that. So you, you lift yourself up right from the beginning when you get another opportunity. So you are waiting for another opportunity to return to the Blasters. And I hope this time when you get the, you'll be able to showcase more of what you've got in yourself. Exactly. Mm. What do you think about the perception out there being portrayed as home-based players, not good like foreign-based players? How do you feel as a home-based player? Well, for that, sometimes I don't really want to talk about this, but what we play here is equally what they play over there. Mm -hmm. So when we do well here, they all see it and they try to give us the opportunity and play. So whoever does well here is being called upon. That's all. So, because honestly, let me tell you, I, I believe in the local players too as well. Yeah, yeah. So no doubt, whenever we are called upon, we give our best. Let's talk about um, family. Your father was a footballer. How has his um, career influenced you as a footballer? Well, um, when I was a kid, my dad <laughs> used to tell me story about himself when he was well, he was also a kid playing. So um, I think sometimes he doesn't really believe in me. He used to believe in my junior brother. Okay. So whenever I'm playing, I think when he when he rem he remember when uh, when he was a kid playing, he sees that he was better than me. So he wasn't <laughs> having that confidence in me to play. So it got to the time I told myself I can do it. So I came in all out just to prove him wrong. And now I think. I, sometimes I, I been, I, I'm being motivated by my brother, and my brother is being motivated by me. Well, I've heard you talk uh, about your mom when you guys started playing football. You said she wanted the children to become uh, doctors and yeah, all. Of course. Now that she has children who are playing the national team, yeah. now when you go home, what's the? You know, absolutely, everybody is happy, and uh, mm. they, they feel. Sometimes I think they not that they didn't want us to play. If, they, if they, 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 they know we are going to make it, they would have allowed us. Mm -hmm. But they think, you know, maybe, for example, you were playing, you, you, you think you were better than your, your, your kid, and your kid, you think uh, he can make it, you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, definitely you will try to uh, shape him or divert him to where you think he can, but sometimes, the children themselves believe in their self first before their parents. So when you leave them and you back them or you, you do the necessary, you give them the necessary support, they can get there. So has uh, education played a big role in your career? Of course, education is very important everywhere you go. So like how to think, how to associate with others, you know, different people when you, when you are schooling, you, you meet different people. So definitely, you think you're going to have different way of thinking and how to associate with others. Well, you're still watching Sports Check here on Ghana Web TV. My name is Joseph Adam. If you are taking a short break, and when we turn, we'll continue with the conversation. Welcome back from the break. My name is Joseph Adam. If you and I'm still here with Maxwell Abikwe, the striker for Accra Great Olympics. Maxwell, let's now talk about. The Ghana Premier League and ball. Who is that opponent in defence that you find that defender is very tough in the Ghana Premier League? Well, I used to say something that um, mostly I don't, I don't find, I don't meet, I don't meet defenders who are tough uh, because I have a way of thinking too. When you are tough, I have another way of beating you. I have so many ways of beating a defender. So I'm never afraid of any defender and because when I'm playing in any match I create chances just that I miss it. So when the defenders are tough then I shouldn't have any chance at all to score. Really? Yeah. There's no defender or goalkeeper who has worried you that you would say? Not really. What about the uh, opponents to play against? Which away game has been one of the toughest that you say? Well, Kotoko fans, you know how they Kotoko. 
the fans when you're playing in the, in the when, stadium? Field? When I'm playing and I see fans, even if you are booing me, I feel you are booing my the opponent. Wow. That's what, that's I have a different mentality of playing football. The mental fortitude. How do you calibrate it to psych yourself in the midst of um, difficulties when your fans you go travel to away games and the fans are cheering against you? How do you psych yourself? Well, um, even against Kotoko, when we were on the field, the the, play, the supporters started insulting us, and I told my boys. The supporters there are for us, so we should just play. Whatever sound you hear, assuming it's against the opponent. Wow. That's me. Hmm. But can Olympics win the Ghana Premier League? Well, honestly, it's every, every team aim to, to be crowned as league winners. So we are also in doing our best when uh, trying to be in the top four at the latter part of the league, when we feel maybe at uh, the, the last five or six matches when we think we can push harder and then get the trophy, we, we go all out. But our target now is just to be in the top four. Top four? Yeah. But are you going to still stay with Olympics to the end of the season, knowing that you've got to play in the national team? And now players, when they go and play in the national team, the next minute you see they are out of the country. Uh, um, honestly, um, I've played for long. I've played for about seven seasons now, uh, so I think I've done my best in the in the league. So any opportunity that comes, I just I just say goodbye to Ghana. <laughs> <from that league. laughs> but definitely, you're not leaving. Yeah, maybe temporary that. good goodbye. Okay. Like our senior man is back, Sule Ali Mutari. Maybe one day I can come back and then and then help raise the the league. What do you see yourself playing for? If any local team comes. To show interest in you, oh. can you leave the Olympics family? I don't know what is going to happen, so you don't know I can't say anything happen. for now. Yeah, <laughs> but then you tweeted about um, Fabrizio. He tweeted something, and you went to react to it. Yeah. Is that something that you wish would come true? Of course. Um, sometimes you should push yourself. You should motivate yourself. You should let something push you. Maybe there's something you can do, but you should tell yourself, I can do it. So that force keeps pushing or encouraging you to, to do it. Because I, uh, when I'm in school, or uh, if coach is not here, I'll be playing what I like. Mm -hmm. But if coach is here, I try to do what coach asks me to do. You understand? So coach is the force behind me being perfect or me being doing better you understand so something i can do i try to motivate myself that i can run fast and get there in in, in maybe two seconds so i tell myself i can run there but maybe i think i maybe uh, i can't you understand but i try to to let let something push me to do it to make it possible so that is me so i guess Encouraging yourself that definitely one day I, I will get the there. Italian and journalist. Of course, everyone is seen. Yeah. You know, you should know yourself too. Yeah. And you know your limit. Yeah. Yeah, you can't give something higher than what you can't meet. You understand? Where you know you see, your limit. Where do you see yourself playing when it comes to being at the apex? World Club Cup, Champions well, League, um, uh, La Liga, Premier League. Yeah. Where do you see yourself? You no, know, we have very good leagues in Europe. like. The French League, the Bundesliga, the EPL, the La Liga. That's every player's dream too. Uh, that stage is where, where every player, every player's dream is to is to is to get there. Sure. So. Which one will be the pinnacle of your career? Which one? EPL. EPL. Yeah. Not the Champions. League. <laughs> oh no, no, but like, is the league you are talking about, right? Yeah. Uh, so the EPL. I want to find myself playing the, in the EPL because you play in the EPL before the Champions League. You can't just go and play Champions League, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You play but, in one league before you qualify yeah. to Champions League. Uh, you find yourself in an era where there are young players coming up. You find Callum Hudson Odway, they go to Man City, they have uh, young players there. You have Mbappe in the French League. Are these players that you wish to play against or play with in future if you get the opportunity abroad? Yeah, in Europe is their era there, and over here, over here too, it's my time here. So 
there's no difference. I can play with them, I can play against them any anytime soon. I see that. But in Olympics, your brother is back these days at Olympics. How is the happiness like in camp? Well, my brother is one player we missed so much uh, when he left, even especially at the beginning of the season. But he's back and I think everyone is happy. Me, myself, I'm very happy because imagine you playing, you yourself splitting yourself in 11, at le uh, like a number of 11 and playing against an opponent. You are all going to think the same. Mm. So having my brother, we think the same. Mm. How do you guys approach the game against uh, Accra Tofu? Because the way you play Accra Tofu is not the same way you play Kotoko. How do you guys psych yourself? Yeah, you know, sometimes you should, you should play match after match. You know, our plan we went in with um, um, Kotoko didn't really work in favor of us. So we have to come back and then mm. psych ourselves, uh, play another tactical, um, um, or coach introduce another tactical way of playing against us of folk, and that worked. So it's match after match. What you what you did last uh, last match in the previous match that that didn't help. You wouldn't introduce it in the upcoming game. So. Uh, it was just a tactical change, and you could see if, if you see a uh, cross game, it was a tactical game that we changed against against Hearts of Folk. Uh, the way I see you guys play against Hearts of Folk is totally different because you really frustrated their defense. I remember during the game at one point, you and Moal Hassan had some little yeah, uh, conversation. Yeah, I saw you laughing. Was yeah, it deliberate? Yeah, to yeah it was deliberate because I also want to frustrate him and then maybe I get a penalty or something. <laughs> so it's all part. You see, I told you I have a way of playing. I have so many ways. Okay. Sure. Is Glassin Alako still a family or another artist at Heart of Folk? Because oh, it's an yeah. opponent. How do you guys relate now? Yeah, what? He a, he's still he's still our brother. I always talk to him. Well, you guys frustrated him in the and house. Even, even before the game mm -hmm. on Twitter, you could see us talking and all that. Mm -hmm. We spoke, we were having fun. So, so there's nothing like any issue? No, 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 no. Um, uh, maybe if, it's, if I should take my phone right now, he has called me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. So we talk a lot. That's, talk a lot. that's the level of friendship yeah. you guys have in the. You are once team. a soldier, always a soldier. When you leave this club, you've played before, so you. you always I had have. a conversation with one Ghanaian footballer, and he told me that if you're a Ghanaian footballer and you don't have this kind of hairstyle, the defenders are not afraid of you. Is it true? Oh no, I have. Like you have to be very scary for the defenders no, 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 to know no. that you. For are. me, honestly, when I have my hair bushy like that and I shape it. I'm okay, I feel okay. I feel I look like a footballer. That's all. So, but I, I can't cut my hair down. I don't know. And moreover, too, I'm having a mark here. Some time ago, I, I, I cut my hair down and I had a knock. Okay. And got, like, I had a cut. So, I didn't want to leave it down again anymore. Because when, sometimes when you hear the ball, and you have <laughs> your haircut, <laughs> you feel it very well. It hurts, it hurts, yeah, right. I, I, see, I see that, I see that. But as we uh, get ready to uh, come end our conversation, what would you say you would want to achieve with Great Olympic before you beat them farewell? Well, um, mine is very simple. Olympics has really struggled in the past years, um, trying to battle relegation and all that. And for now, for the past two years or three years, I've been left alone. I'm the oldest player here. So I think even with we, me, me not being in the club and the club not being relegated as well, I think I've done something in the past three, three seasons. So I'm looking up to the end of the season. Maybe I place them at the top four or something. And what would you tell the fans? What would be your message to the fans? Well, I always thank the fans for supporting us, uh, especially the management as well. They're really doing their best and then trying to motivate the players in all every means. Uh, 
to the last but not the least to the technical men and coach as well. Um, I will thank them all and to the fans. They keep supporting us in every in, in every way, any way they, they feel like. When they are there, we will be okay. So I thank them so much. They should keep supporting us. We are because of us. That's why they are here. So. We also support them, they support us, but we thank them so much. Thanks so much. I can see that your team wants to meet, so we'll catch up another time. Well, you are still here on Ghana Web TV. It's still Sports Check. We are taking a short break, and when we return, we continue with a conversation with coach of Accra Great Olympics, Anna Walker. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome again to another edition of Sports Check here on Ghana Web TV. My name is Joseph Adamafi and today we are the training grounds of Accra Great Olympics to have a riveting conversation with their head coach, Anna Walker. Well, he's currently here with me and I would like us to delve straight into the conversation. Coach, so far, how has the season been? Ah, the season has season been good. Uh, while we get in uh, to the end of the first round, uh, which uh, we end this weekend and you know our clubs uh, are doing good are doing their best and uh, we're waiting uh, till the end of the first run then we take off uh, into the second run but for now the first run have been very good. When you look at the uh, position of your club on the league lock, are you impressed so far or you can want to improve? I'm not impressed because last season by this time I was at the second position. So I'm not impressed, but well, uh, the certain all things you should give thanks to God. I'm still preparing uh, for the second round and I believe in the second round things will change for me to get to where I wanted to take the club to. When you say things will change, what are some of the things that you... Uh, uh, matches that I drew. Okay. You know, in the first round, I drew uh, so many matches. Uh, about seven matches wow. that I drew. And uh, I believe in the second round, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be a change and uh, win my matches, which I'm preparing my team. Uh, uh, for it in the second round. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at um, how away matches are being played in the Ghana Premier League, is it a tough task traveling to go and play away matches and all? Uh, referees have not been fair, but we don't want to talk when you are playing away. Um, well, uh, uh, it's not easy playing away, especially uh, when you are playing these uh, brown teams. So, um, we're looking at it that maybe the second round, uh, the FA is going to do something about it so that it, it should be fair. I believe if the game is being handled fairly, then um, uh, we all enjoy the game nice, as nice, it is. Nice, nice, nice. The way you say if the game is handled fair, everything will be nice. Um, some of your players have returned to the squad. We've seen some more uh, Ashikwe return to the squad. How um, beneficial has it been to the team since he's returned? Yes, he uh, has uh, benefited seriously. And uh, though uh, against us was his first match, and I believe when we get to the second round, uh, he's going to help. Uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. I see that you are basking in smiles, but there is the case that we have a lot of players. So I came here, I've not seen Lukaku. Where is Lukaku? Uh, Lukaku is going on transfer okay. to Adiana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. The, uh, uh, management uh, feel he has to go because Adiana requested for him. And, uh, you know, uh, if a team requests and you think uh, you have more strikers, you have to uh, uh, release him to a club that maybe you might be regular there. Okay. What do you think about Maxwell, Maxwell Abiquui mm. in your team? Maxwell is my kingpin, which you all know. But after the Afcon that he came, because he was not having play time there, and when he came, it was much rusty. But 
I think the third week match, his first match was against uh, Kim Faisal. Then the second match was against Kotoko. And the third match was against us, which he performed very, very good. So I believe uh, with Ashi inclusion, mm -hmm. it's going to be fantastic. But then there are some people who say that Abikwe has really improved since he returned from uh, the Black Stars. Not about his um, scoring abilities and all that, but his contribution to the team. When you look at his performance against Arthur Cook, you realize that that particular goal that was scored, if not for his disguise, yeah. definitely the defenders would have opted to go in for him. Do you think he has learned some experience from his national team? Basically? Yeah, I can see he's learned uh, uh, something from the national team. So I know with time, uh, he will pick them uh, one after the other and that will help him also mm. in the league. Will you type yourself as a coach who is good at uh, nurturing players for the national team? Because you have under 20 players in your team, players and under 23 national team players. You know, I'm a developer. Uh -huh. So uh, I make players and I nurse players like you've asked. And um, the most players that have passed through my hands always go to the national team. So I'm a coach that nurses players mm -hmm. to get into the national teams. Mm -hmm. So uh, if there's a player out there who knows that he wants to uh, become a national asset, definitely yeah. she passed through your hands, is that what you're saying? By God's grace. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on and talk some more about your days. In the, you have a, a national um, assignment as well as the which coach, please? Uh, local Blasters. Local Blasters. How is uh, scouting players for the national team like for the Blasters League? You know, normally um, we all play the league at the same time. It's only once or twice that you have the chance to watch any other league match, and that's especially in Accra here since I don't go around to scout. But uh, I also contact my colleague coaches and ask them maybe the good ones uh, as a coach that can be recommended to me. So uh, that's how I, I, I do my scouting from the help of my uh, colleague coaches here. Yeah. But we have a situation where sometimes you have players for the qualifiers yeah. then the next time you are going to play another uh, progressive match, you have players joining other clubs outside the shores of Ghana. Yeah. How is that a worry to you and your team? I uh, know I have not uh, started uh, playing yet. Uh, I'm just given the job and now that I'm going to start playing. So I've not experienced anything uh, like that before. Mm -hmm. I see that. But looking at the Black Stars D, you think it's high time the the Chan tournament we get back and try and win the tournament? Yeah, that is my prayer. And now the team is given to me and I'm waiting for the my qualification uh, before I go to the Chan that I can show what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, nice one. The, mm. But one of the uh, issues at Ghana's uh, campaign at the Afro 2020 was the level of um, local players not being given the opportunity to showcase mm. their talent in the senior national team. Yeah. Is that a thing to you? Is that a, an issue to you that you also express? The For Ghana or in the other For, clubs? No, local players yeah. being in the senior national team, that's the main that's team. Here in Ghana. Are, yes. Uh, that one there, I cannot say anything about this. It is the coaches there, they will have to decide uh, what to do. And if they should ask me of the local ones, I will also help in giving, showing them uh, those who are ready to play. So for there, I leave it to the, uh, the wise and the local, our local assistant coaches there. But would you love to see more local players being action in the national team? Because there is this perception out there that it's being made that I see players from who play, Ghanaian players abroad are better than home based players. Oh, uh, honestly, 
like I said, uh, is the uh, coaches there that will decide what they think would be good for them to use. So I cannot decide for them. Okay, let's return home and talk about Olympic because that's where you uh, focus on. What do you think Olympics needs to win the league? Because last season you came close to winning the league, yeah. but this season even Magdalena has even added much more excitement to promising to give you an amount of money if your players are able to deliver yeah. on winning the Ghana Premier League. Yeah. Well, uh, last season, like you said, we were of the edge to win the league. But unfortunately, uh, we couldn't. And like I said, in all things, you have to give thanks to God. God knows best. So, like I said, the second round is going to start. We are not in a good position, but in the second round, I believe we will uh, make amends and uh, get closer to the to the trophy. Who do you see as your closest opponent that's going to worry you in your race to winning the title? Uh, now in Kotoko, there are teams ahead of us. So uh, it's left with us to work hard and more harder to get close to the to the uh, those ahead of us. It's up to us to work harder. Apart from working hard, we cannot get there. So we work hard to get to where we have to uh, be in close to the uh, winning the league. So for you, the title race is not over. It's still on course. Of course, yes. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. What, what makes you enjoy your work so much that you are always with Olympics? Coach Anna Walker. Yeah. Anytime yeah. you mention Olympics, then it's Anna Walker. What makes you love your work? Uh, seriously, um, Oli is a club I love very well, and uh, lucky enough, I've had a chance to coach the team. So it's left with me, and I wish uh, I always work hard with the club and wanted to do something with the club so that uh, the, uh, my name will also be written in the uh, Guinness Book of Accra Great Olympics. <laughs> the Guinness, do you have something like that, Guinness Book of Accra Great Olympics? <laughs> I don't know whether I'm saying it. <laughs> but my name will also be written when you are calling uh, Accra Great Olympics. Okay, I said that. But in terms of Accra Great Olympics, it's a traditional club. Yeah. You see legends and former players of the the team contribute to the team. How inspirational has their, um, like the, the way they chip in uh, their contribution to the team? How influential have they become to the team? Uh, they are also helping because since they've been members uh, of the club and they've gone on retirement, uh, they are of a role model to the players. Mm. So they also come closer to advise the players. And when the players see them, they are also happy to see uh, those who have served the club before. And they also take some advice from them so that they can also do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go, I'd like to ask you a final question on the fans. What do you want the fans to do for the club ahead of the uh, second round of the Ghana Premier League? All I'm saying is, I think you've seen them here. Uh, my prayer is they also help the club uh, in prayers. They also have to support, even if the club is not performing. The players are not performing, they have to that in inspire them, shout, still support for the, for the boys to see that they have people behind them then the win will come. Finally, I you know I've said that it's final, but mm. having seen what Ali used to say, did with Senegal yeah. for close to six to seven years, was with the uh, yeah. national team and has been able to achieve something like that. Yeah. Do you think that if you stay a little bit longer, that dream of seeing Olympics win the Ghana Premier League will be realistic? Yeah, uh, like I said, that's my wish, uh, at least to do something with Accra Great Olympics. 
and I know uh, with God on my side, it will come to pass. All right, thanks for your time, Coach. I know you have to return and continue with your training. So thank you very much You're for your time. Well, my name is Joseph Adamafi, and this has been another edition of Sports Check here on Ghana Web TV. Thanks for watching.